at the realist Zeph says, here's the entire beta Pokedex in color. You don't have to watch shitty YouTube vids now. I mean, salutations and welcome to, uh, I guess, uh, random soapboxing? I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure out ideas to branch out, and I figured, uh, since people really like the, I get a lot of comments for the Gato retrospective, looking through those pictures, looking through what I spoke on, uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2, figured, nah, I could do more of this. We're just gonna go over real quick the, uh, in color, the... I didn't give too much attention to it until I saw a fan art of, like, the Octillery, which I think is, like, the best fucking design. <laughs> so, you already know it's, uh... We're just gonna go through a bunch of these, uh... Just to, in order just to see what I think about them. Uh, so we start with Chikorita. Not, nothing too different with Chikorita. That looks like some weird bird thing. I don't get what they were going with here. Then it turns into Meganium? I was like, does it become flying and then it doesn't? Or... Is it like early Tropius, maybe? Cause I mean, they got like I see some of these. I like get uh, some ideas you could see kind of burst forth later. All right, next up is this uh fire mouse thing, kind of like Pikachu-ish, but then it turns into like this uh. I like the evolved form how it looks. It's almost like a from a mouse into a lion. Maybe they want. Maybe that's what they wanted to go with. Like the mouse helps the lion with the the paw. I just could do a thing where it's like there's a thorn in it or something like that. They could like push on that. And then it just gets a... Uh, I guess that's why they didn't want to do this because it's like, oh, it's... kind of looks like Flareon almost in a way. The back sprite's kind of good. I'm just looking over that, but... And then we get to not seal and dugong here with the... Almost like a dinosaur in a way just because of how the head looks and how it like has like a, a neck kind of thing going for it. Then you get to evolve with like the shell or like a what's that on its neck? It's got so it's got like a point now. I guess I guess they wanted to go with like a narwhal or something like that, or like a. I do like the design though of the the water. It's like the sleekness of it all, and they get to be what you call it. The back sprite's like really derpy though. <laughs> Looks like Gen One level of derpness. All right, hoot hoot. Not too much change there. They actually ended up using him. That's supposed to be knocked out. <laughs> he's just bigger and heftier. Instead of giving him like the... Well, no, he still has like the... Because I, I think he gets like two claws as knocked out, if I'm not mistaken. But he still got like... The, he still retains the one foot design. I kind of like that. I don't know if they'll use it now. <laughs> you never know. Pokemon just came out with like all the Megas and everything else in the... Uh, this form and that form. So who's to, who's to say it won't happen? Same old with Mareep and uh, Flaffy here, but they're pink. Oh, Flaffy's the only one who kept the pink Mareep. They wanted to do, the, I guess, the yellow. But this looks good. I guess uh, further... It could have been Electric Fairy, but then it became Electric Dragon as the Mega. Which they didn't do here. And for us, looking the same. Just about. I don't have, like, uh, what you call them. Just looking at it as is from my own memory. I don't have, like, real reference pages. So maybe someone else would be, like... Maybe someone will argue where it doesn't quite look the same. I guess that's supposed to be a baby Vulpix or something like that? Like, um... I guess that's what they were experimenting with a lot, you can see here, because that was, like, the th new thing for Generation 2, was the, uh, babies that later evolve and then evolve again. They were trying to, like... Maybe, like, three-form Pokemon is the future or something like that, so let's just throw a couple babies in. So what we get from that. As you can see, this next one, uh... Tangela? Maybe a baby Tangela, and then it got, like, early tan growth? <laughs> With the mouth or whatever. Like something's hiding in there. You don't know what it is. Maybe it's a ghastly. Ooh. Uh, no idea what that's supposed to be in the back sprite. I guess it's like a, a black on top or something like that. Or has like a really scary face to like uh, ward off. It almost seems like a Pokedex. Like this thing has a... It ward off, wards off uh, predators. That's like cute on the bottom. That's, that's kind of... Could have been interesting. I guess, uh, I guess like a flying water type maybe or something like that? Like early Mantine maybe? That's my guess. I don't know. But again, the whole... The back sprite though, it's got me... That's what's got me most curious. Anyway, next line down here. Look at this chub! Look at this little chub of a P... Uh, I guess early Pichu. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 
You're gonna see a lot of these, like a lot of these, like Chubb. Like, uh, oh my god, this... This poor dongle. <laughs> That's supposed to be Kalefa. <laughs> I guess they stuck with that design, but it's like, get rid of that dongle. That looks... <laughs> Looks really inappropriate. <laughs> and then literal, literal ball, Igly buff. Just, hmm. Oh, I see. I'll, you're going to look through a lot of these, and I'm going to notice. Well, at least I do. Like, uh, they were trying to, like, you know how Digimon forms? Like, they start off as, like, little just balls of matter, like Tamagotchi kind of. Because that's what they were going on with that, the digital. I noticed that with a lot of these early sprites. Like, it's just a literal ball, and it's just like, oh, okay. They're trying to go for, like, the in-baby, like, before rookie or, like, in-training, whatever that mode is supposed to be. We got Quagsire over here looking not as buff. Kind of looks like kind of looks like Squirtle with a tail and no shell, in a way. So I guess they tried to, like, accentuate him, like, give him more of a neck, give him a sleeker design. I don't know. But not bad for a... Pretty good for a beta, so... You can kind of see the idea for it. I just noticed Quagsire is, like, a lot bigger... Its hands are, like, less pronounced. It's, like, a little, hmm. Zatu with a different sprite. And Natu and Zatu. Okay, so they kept those, but different sprite color or something like that. Like, less... They're looking less psychic in that mode. Look, just looks like a would be a normal flying because of the color, like, brown. So. I guess that's supposed to be a booby magic carp over there. Like... Just has, like, the little question mark. I like how it... <laughs> I like how it retains it in both forms. That's hilarious. <laughs> then we got, um, I guess Meryl, like, oh, it's pink. I guess it's supposed to be like a normal type or they didn't have fairy type then, but hey, it's it's it now. So looking at it now, I'm like, hmm. So it's supposed to be, uh, wasn't that the thing like Pika Blue? Like we saw it in the, like the first Pokemon movie. I'm like, what is that? That's brand new. We've never seen it before. And that's like your first, uh. It's like, hey, we just dropped this Gen 2 in on you. I guess they didn't use this, this weird fish thingy. Then it becomes like a, a shark with like, this is kind of cool. A shark with like the, as a tail, it has like a chain anchor or something like that. That looks cool. I like that. Like it'd be like a, I guess you could stylize it to have it be like bones as well. Like a, like fish cartilage or something like that with the anchor tail. Like it could really do something with this sprite. This looks cool. Oh, I somehow skipped the, uh, oh, sorry about that. I thought that was a little further. I skipped the quillfish up top. We'll go, back, go back up one, sorry. The second row. That quillfish there, and then, like, it's evolved form. <sighs> I should not be. <laughs> and it wasn't, because quillfish never got that. <laughs> it was always the one that rare po that rare Pokemon, and it's like, hey, that one call you get from, like, a fisherman, like, hey, they've shown up on, like, rare supply. Come down here if you want to get one. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be, it's like, it's the jutting jaw. <laughs> I guess water poison. I don't know. Water dark, maybe. That could be something. There's Crobat. Okay, they kept that for the most part. They might have just made the sprite a little bit bigger, a little bit heftier. Like a little Paris. Or I guess like a Parasite, I guess. Or whatever its early thing was supposed to be. That uh, Like it hasn't quite gotten the, uh, like it's trying to enter or exit the shroom, the mushroom. Maybe the mushroom, like, takes hold and it, you, you know, because Paris has, like, the shrooms out of its back and then Parasect, like, is the, they become one, basically. That's kind of cool. I would, I would go with that. Like, I know, I know it's quad weak to fire, but I, I've, it's something that's got false swipe. It can learn false swipe and I always have, like, a soft spot for, like, the Pokemon that can catch things early. Plus, it's got a lot of, like, uh, doesn't, doesn't learn, like, a lot of HMs or something like that. Like, not a lot of, like, like a water type, but still. It's just a good HM slave because it's not going to be, like, super good at anything. And it's quad weak. You'll probably won't put it in battle. I think that's why people use it as an HM slave because of that. But, yeah, I'd be down for uh, pre-evo like that. We got a early spin rack and area dose with these four here. That looks pretty cool. I like, once again, the scary face on top. Like, it starts out with, like, the the face. Area dose just uh, lost it and became, like, a what you call it? Like, the actual spider spider. So, I kind of like this design with the scary face. But I guess I've been, like too reminiscent of like Arbok with its kind of face on its front or something like that. So I guess that's might, might be why they didn't want to go that way. What's it? Skarmory. I guess they wanted to make like more jaw. The front beak is like less pronounced. I think it's like more of a, it's like more together in the face or something like that. It's kind of cool. 
What the hell is this supposed to be? Ah! <laughs> that's like if I was designing a Pokemon first thing. That's like, you know, Renoa's first sprite. It's like, first day on the job. Eh? What do you mean I'm fired? Hmm. I guess they were going with something. Maybe it's like early Gulpin or something like that. That's the only thing I can g garner from that sprite. Like, hmm. Or maybe an early, like, not quite Grimer. Like, it's not all the way poison or something like that. Like, see, this is the kind of shit I look at and be like, decipher the... Hmm, what, what, what was this supposed to be? What this could have been? I don't even know what that is. I can't even... It's like a chinchilla or something like that. It's got like a big fur coat or something like that. Sunflora, but not green. It's like yellow, so it's like an actual like sunflower sunflower. So, yeah. Normal grass, maybe? Fampy, but not quite ground either. Really fampy. Got like a little thing on its head, like it's from the circus or something like that. Like it has like a, like it's all dressed up. So I guess they went with like a circus theme for that one at first. Could have been interesting. All right, next line. There's Don Fan. They didn't change that too much. It's uh, just the color. So that's the one they kept. <laughs> this next one could be interesting. Like early ghastly or something like that. Like not quite together in like ball form yet. Like it's still kind of, kind of weak. Kind of it's it's all wispy. Like it's not like fully realized yet like even ghastly still has like the haze around him it's only until we get to like haunter and gengar that they look solid for the most part and then we get the sprite that literally broke me and gave me the whole reason for like i gotta do that. <laughs> giraffe rig no just for the back sprite alone that you can see i would want that cat dog cat dog alone in the world with a little cat dog Hey, it's Smeargle. They didn't change too much of that. They actually they might have made him like less derpy looking. Like uh, he's a little more, he's a little less like slinky in that form. So early beta, it's like oh, make him stand straight. He's an artist. He's got to like like he can't be like. Ugh. I guess that's what we're trying to go. Baby meow. Look at that. Oh my god, that's adorable. Look at the little look at the little coins. Just king. <laughs> that's adorable. What's that one Pokemon, like one of the gens? It's like Nyantix or something like that? That's what I see with these four here. Like with the moon and like the, the like kind of like crescent moon or like a little comb over there with the bell. That looks good. That looks good. It's got like a little bell and then like an actual bell bell. Like a chime and then a bell. That's good. I like that. And I can see like a Nyant it's Nyantic, I think it's called. And then there's like another one. I think that's, I forget what gen that is. There's been so many Pokemon. I forget which is which nowadays. But I can see that. That's good. That's really good. I like that. Um, early Politoed. That's like an actual, like, frog frog. <laughs> Gotta say, I like the other design better, but I can see what they were trying to go for here. You can see, like, early what you call it's like with the lines in the back. Actually, kind of looks like a pickle or a cucumber from that side. <laughs> they could have had something with that, maybe. Thinking how long it is, it kind of looks like a. Like, you can make a ghost type out of this, maybe, because it's, like, it feels like it's so long that it's, like, a shoot. Like, he's barely fitting into, like, wearing it. You could probably make it, like, uh, like, where you can kind of see the bot, like, it has no bottom or something, because it's, like, a shoot. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. There's a slow king. Not too, not too much change there. They might have made him a little bit bigger with the sprite there. Early unknowns, uh, D, I guess, or is that the C? No, it's a D because it's shaped the, and then there's like an A, but without the I again. So they were kind of messing around with that for, I guess, they decided like, oh, let's let's keep these and go with a bunch of those. So yeah, some of these got used. There's Ladybug over there, looking uh, more green than red, but then you see the next one next to it. Um, I don't look at that as like evolved. I look at that as like, this version's gonna have the green ladybug over here. This is more like, you can see like the stars on this one. That's like a, it's more like a beetle than a ladybug. It's got like a, or like a, or maybe just because of the shell or whatever. It's like a different kind of ladybug. So I guess they were going with like a version exclusive. That's my take on that one. Little baby Rapidash? Or baby Laponita rather? See what they were going with? Like a lot of early ones. That, that is what they were going with and kind of like a, very basic, very baby, like, scale it down, make it look a little bit simple. Like, it has, like, a little bit, it's got, like, little tufts of fire here or there. Not bad, not bad. Again, I had an idea for a set of Rapid Dash. I would, like, I would do Ponyta Rapid Dash, and then I had an idea called a Pegazoom, where it becomes a flying type. 
It would just get, like, bigger and just, like, grow these fiery wings. Like, maybe a little, maybe big. I don't know. Just an idea I had in my own head. That's one of my first watch calls. Like, that was my idea of, like, try to make everything, like, uh, three levels. Because it seems... that's That was always my thing. Like, three stages of Pokemon. Like, the first form, second form, third form. Those were always, like, should be, like, the best ones. As far as, like, stats and everything else. I don't know. Outside of legendaries, of course. But that's, that's that was always my early uh, interpretation of things. Like, if things have, like, three forms, I'm like, oh, this Pokemon must be good. Espeon over here, but not pink. And maybe a little more in the uh, bottom part of those ears, maybe? Or whatever that is. That looks good. It probably built up the sprite, make it a little more sleeker than this form. But I like this, this yellow. It's a good color, but I guess they went with it. Uh, then you got Umbreon with a little less pronounced with the... Uh, so beta, but they went a little bit more pronounced with the uh, rings and all the... Sta all the stripes and everything else where they were red instead of like a color so uh the shell like leaves the um slow bro and then it becomes sentient they were going i guess they were going with something with this here like this <laughs> or is that where you get slow king from like but that still has the shell too right and then like early ditto or whatever the heck this is supposed to be or early muck maybe it just looks like a straight up jelly now <laughs> Like a regular slime from the back, like you would like you would run in this enemy, like early RPG enemy. That's what this reminds me of. That's that's that could be a design in the future. Just make like a clear slime that either gets like a maybe it starts a water type and then gets poison or something like that, or it becomes like a new thing. Like it starts with this form, and then if you go normal, it would be muck, or if you go this way, it's something else. Like it's a clear water type that could be something. Here's a remoraid looking a little bit bigger. Is, ooh, is it? Is that like a chamber on the back? That's what that looks like, like a little gun chamber, like a six. That's a cool design, especially when we get to the best fucking design here. And I saw someone else's uh, fan art of like, uh, like this. Look, like this is the best right here. This I almost wish it was this, where it's like it's the uh, tentacles are coiled around it, so it becomes like wheels, and it's 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 a literal tank. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not. Octillery, it's, it's like a tank now with, like, the helmet and everything. Like, that is cool. That's the best one. I wish they kept that, honestly. Instead of just, like, a regular... Because now it looks too plain. Like, 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 this is Octillery to me now. You give me that other one. Like, it's... I guess sometimes less is more. You don't want to mess with, like, too much of the design. But just... I can never unsee this and just be like... Look, go back to, like, regular-ass Octillery and be like... Eh. Like, that is... That is... That's the best design of me, out of all of them. Like that and the uh, the wispy everything and the the cat dog giraffe rig. Maybe we want to do this. <laughs> just some of these designs just to go over. I guess like a weird bear. Or maybe they got Pancham from this. I don't know. This looks interesting. Or maybe it's just early Teddy Ursa, and then they just went with like the adorable, cute design. Like oh my gosh. You can see like little fists or hands or something like that. Just yeah. Hit on top where its torso is the face, and then it has like a weird eye or something like that. So, but this, see, this is another example of what I mean. Sometimes being less is more. Like this is, like this is the other side of the argument for the artillery. Like that looks cool. This, I mean, it looks cool too. But now I'm thinking like its head is the legs or something like that. Like it's a little too much, maybe. Like a little too complex. So I guess they dialed it down with the later sprite for Hit on top, and that looks. I don't dislike the design, I'm just... I just like the idea of, like, it's scheming. Hmm. Like, it looks less zen just because of the eyes, like, hmm. Like, zen would, like, eyes closed, but they're, like, wide open, so he's like, this is my scheming face. I'm safe in here with the inside of this. <laughs> you cannot hope to best my offense. I guess Baby Doggo here, early Growlithe, looks pretty good. Once again, the little tuft. The little tuft on top and the tail. The tail is what that sells me on this. And the really long ear, <laughs> puppy dog ears. That's great. That is good. I like that. And then you get to, uh, I guess it's supposed to be oddish, but like, it has like a mm face. Like the tail. This to me looks straight lifted out of a uh, in training or rookie Digimon form. Like, no, not even rookie. Like before that, like, I think they call like in training or baby or something like that is what that form looks like. Cause the tail and everything else, like it would, like it, like it looks like it doesn't even have like grass attacks. Attacks, it would just like shoot like little bubbles or something like that, or whatever the babies do, like like little weak attacks. Like, hmm. 
And I guess they wanted to do the same thing with the next sprite, but like the flower. So my look at this, I'm like, it was separate because we saw the sun flora earlier yellow. But then we go back to this. So I guess they're supposed to be separate before they're like, hmm. So I guess early sun current here. Whatever, this is supposed to be the cotton ball or whatever. So I guess they kind of had going through everything with like weed, flower, or cotton or something like that, maybe? I can see this sprite might have gotten used later. So this might be early. I think that's what this is. This might be separate. Like all three of these together, seeing it like this, but still with the tail. So my guess is Hop Ip, Skip Plume, Jump Luff is what this is. That's exactly what this is, because Hop Ip had the, the, ta the, like the head design. That's, that's. Okay, I nailed it. That's exactly what that is. And then Jump Luff later, with instead of this, it got like the two hands, like kind of like a cheerleader thing going on. I like that design way better. So, once again, you can tell what was going on here. And then later on, they're like, yeah, too simple. Too simple. Uh, early uh, Mime Jr., I guess. I like this. Design. I like the hat. But he looks like an egg. Like, uh, you'd almost say that's like early, uh, or maybe it's happening. I don't know. Maybe that's what that became later, but uh, again, the hat makes me think of Mr. Mime and the legs and arms, too, because they're a little... Either or, honestly, it could be. I like the Smoochum, though, with, like, more hair. I guess they wanted to do, like, a... Uh... Because what does Smoochum look like? Isn't that, like... I'm trying to remember. It's like it's, like, less hair, but... Just just the the giant poof of hair that <laughs> the early form has is enough. So, yeah, early Smoochum here. Oh, this design. <laughs> That looks less like Elekid and more like weird Bumblebee with like a ring around its head. Like, <laughs> And of course, I love Elekid's design with the uh, plug. I want him to make a new one for like three product. <laughs> I guess it would take away too much from the design. Like maybe like like Elekid, uh, like Elekid X, Elekid Y or something like that. I don't know. Or no, that's all about the Alolan forms now. Like different what's it called? It's like this form. Like this one. They could do that. They could you now. The Alolan thing, like they have like different forms. They could do like a three pronged Elekid, Electabuzz. That'd be cool. It would be electric. Um, I don't know, maybe electric steel because it's like more modernized, like it's more tech. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, early, uh, really smug ass looking uh, Magby over here. Like, like I, they shrunk him down a little bit. It's like, nah, it's too much, too, a little too Magmarish. So it's gonna shrink him down. Now he looks like more babyish. Like this one's a little. They looked at this and thought, like, nah, 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 a little too pronounced. Like, maybe if we ever did, like, a, like, we ever made Magmar, like, the final form, but then they came up with Magmortar, which was pretty boss. There's early Blossom, but, uh, pink in design, so it might have been separate from what you called? I don't know what they were going with there. That could be a thing, too. Different design. Oh, my God. It's another thing that should not fucking be. I'm trying to take human form. <laughs> I guess they were trying something else, like uh, instead of Victory Bell. Like, maybe they toyed with that idea, because Victory Bell was the same as Gloom, and Gloom got the offset with Blossom. Maybe that's what this was. And then they decided, nah, maybe we're not mess with Victory Bell, just kind of drop it. Like, this... You flew too close to the sun on this one, and just like, okay. Just, just scrap it, just scrap it. So that's why I guess he never got one, and... Uh, Gloom did, that Oddish line did, and the Bell line didn't. Early Mill Tank made it less, uh, like that just looks like kind of like Snorlax ish to me, like very lazy. It's, and you see Mill Tank be a bit more aggressive, a bit more standing up, so to speak. Like this one looks like it's like six weeks postpartum. <laughs> I can't get up. Help me. So I guess they went a little bit different, but most of it was retained. It just looks a little early on, too. Made it more pronounced, maybe more look like an actual cow cow. Like, this one doesn't look... It's almost like a a deer mom or something like that, in a way. This looks interesting, like a fire seal with, like, the little meat... Like, the little uh, fireball that's <laughs> bouncing on its nose, so... I don't know what they were going... Uh, I guess early, uh, whatever that clown seal thing is early on from, like, way, way back, but then it became, like, a water type... <laughs> That's something. Oh my god, it's Santa. <laughs> so early uh, Delibird. That looks, that looks pretty good. I guess they got rid of the hat and everything and just made it... <laughs> or maybe they went with, like, what you call it? It's like a, it could be like a nightcap and he's, like, throwing sand at you. Maybe they wanted that at first. 
I like this boy here, the little tiger guy. And then he becomes like, meow. And he has like a thunderbolt. So I guess like uh, an electric tiger type? Like something to rival Pikachu or something like that? This looks like, I would do this. Like maybe it needs like a little plug on the end for its tail or something like that. <laughs> it's got like a little wire, a little fuse or something like that. This looks, I like this. I like this. Mostly because of the, the big front design. <laughs> just, just this, like, meow. <laughs> You just want to cuddle that. But then it's like really big and then it's like, ooh, this thing can like out cuddle you and you don't want to do it anymore. Like, oof. Early Altaria? Was Alt or is that Altaria? Looks like a swan or like a bird or something like that or like a dragon. Kind of looks like a very sleeker dragon knight in the face. Like someone took Dratini and then added stuff to it. So I don't know what this is. And it's got like this little... What's this little thing out here? Like a microphone? Is that what it is? Is it like is it is it like a stand-in mic? Like a inter like the interviewer Pokemon, or maybe it's like an evolved form of like uh maybe it's an evolved form of Farfetch, cause maybe it, maybe it's a baton, maybe it's like a rod, maybe it's like a a lead you into battle, it becomes flying steel or something like that. That could be that could have been interesting. Um, I can't unsee that one. What is it? It's on Jackbox. It's like a horror game where it's like the little uh. Like, it's, it looks like it's... I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a horror game. It's like, welcome to this game. It's like, ooh. But that's all I see with this. Like, what were they thinking here? Like, you're going to sell this to kids? Uh-uh, no. I can see why this design got scrapped. Jeez. I guess they would come back with this with the, uh... Like, scary, but not, like, super scary. The, um... Mimikyu? Like, Poke Pokedex entry would probably be like, a Poke doll that's came to life. So I'm looking at this like a definite ghost type or normal ghost where it's like ghost, but it's tangible. And then it like becomes this next thing where it loses it. Because I'm, because I look at this design. It's got the tag. It's got the head. It's a hopping zombie. It's a, that design. That's what they were going for. So that's going to be good, but maybe like less, like, Stabby in the chest area, like, like we're trying to go for like Pokemon like designs, but this is just. I like, you know Pokemon gets dark sometimes, but you don't want to just like have it stare at you in the face, kind of. <laughs> that's a, that's the back spray doesn't help much either because it's like through it. You can see it like going straight through. That's a little much. It's a little much. I like the idea of it, uh, the evolving thing where it becomes later. Again, no, it would be normal type and then become ghost. Like it's something that's. Like, as it evolves, it dies? Is that what you're saying? Like, so I guess they scrapped that because I'm like, no, too dark, too dark. The effort, I recognize it. I ex respect it, too. Like, I, I get what you're going with, but I can also see their argument of why it got pulled, why it got scrapped, why they say, no, you can't do that. Okay, Murkrow here with, like, the different kind of hat here, early Murkrow. I guess they went with that less. That's like, we'll do this for, like, a miss... Miss Magius or something like that. That's like, oh, we got something here. Because, again, like, Murkrow and then Honchkrow would get, like, the big hat with, like, the feather in it, like, looking all pimped out and shit. Like, love that design. But this is good. Early Murkrow here. I like it. I like it. I was going to do something different where it's, like, a female type, you know? That could have been a thing, too, where they start to differentiate sprites. So I, I could see this coming back. It could be good. Okay, is this or is this not reminding you of more of a Yugo card, like kind of like Shining Friendship or like, like, Taya would have this Pokemon and just this Pokemon. Look at this, the heart's like yeah, just jutting out of its head. <laughs> that just looks like a more of a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. I, I just just because the heart's like jutting out, I can't look away from it. <laughs> it looks like it's most sensitive spot or something like like if you touch it, it'll die. Or like no, don't touch me there. Like, it actually, like, it looks like a physical boo-boo or something like that. Like, you know, where you get, like, the anime thing where it's, like, like, the lump appears. That's what this looks like to me. So, like, no, go back, try again. There's scissor, but green instead of the red, so we wouldn't get, like, maybe, like... So it evolved, but it actually still looks like a scyther in the face. You can see it from behind where it's, like, hmm, it's got, like... So it looks, like, just a little bit more pronounced in the face, and it's got, like, more the wingspan and everything else. Look looks good this looks good too this the i guess they went with this too they were trying to evolve both but once again one one stayed and became red and one got like one again one stayed one didn't like the 
the bell sprout man monstrosity up there last uh the t- upper row there uh but yeah i i do like this design too it's the one with like an actual like human face or something like that or is it like supposed to be like more human or something like that it looks cool i don't know for digimon but i do like this design i just i mean i'd rather have this than just oh it's uh well not that that design's bad either but it's just like oh it can fly now i mean okay Wish you could do that without being mega. You could have just given it another form, but still. That's why I've never fully agreed on some of the megas. Like, although we get to the the best mega with Houndoom. But you can see this early on. Uh, not too much different. I guess they made him like a little bit... Well, Houndoom is like taller and leaner than this sprite. But I see what they were going with here. And the more skulls and everything. Like this design, this dude. Not much change for Houndour. I mean, like, what you call it? Like, make him darker, make him redder. But yeah, I like this. That's good. Uh, don't know what they were going with here with, like, the... It's hidden behind, uh, like, another, like, fur or something like that. Like, mm, look at the eyes, and then it, like, forms into it or something like that. Like, it's, like, a different Cubone or Marowak where it, like, become Like, it seems like a lot of things with, like, the evolutions where it, like, becomes what it was trying to emulate in some cases. Where it, like, takes on the properties fully. I like this. This is cool. Probably became something later. Again, I'm all I'm thinking of Burmy and what you're called with like the cloak or everything like hiding behind, but or maybe like early Obama snow or something like that. I don't know. Like a lot can be gleamed from just this here. A lot can be taken from this, I think. And then we get this weird bubble lion or dog or something like that. Well, I'd lion because of the mane. What's that weird weather orb Pokemon? I, for, I can't remember its name off the top of my head. That's what I see when I think of this. Like, the water type where it has, like, the bubbles around its face. Uh, something orb. I can't remember it. Nature orb or something. I can't remember the name. Anyway, we get to uh, early Lickitung with, like, a a mustache and, like, a weird hat going on for it. <laughs> Fruit by the foot. That's what it reminds me of, like, the or bubble tape, like, just rolling out like that. <laughs> just whoop. It's got more t- personality to it than Licky Licky, I'd say. Licky Licky is just like a, a bigger buffer. <laughs> so I like this. I, I guess it does look like a little unnatural. Like the the face alone makes it like it's trying to like it sees its tongue go out and it's trying in desperation like, no, 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 put the tongue back in, put the tongue back in. Why is it doing this? No. <laughs> Maybe I'm reading too much into that, but that's, that's, ugh. again, I like the mustache. I'm like, hmm. I like what you added to it, but and the spots and everything, but again, less might be more in that case. Steelix, not too much change. They might have made it bigger and bulkier and made it like it's the same color as Onyx. I'm like, yeah, maybe they did this before they introduced steel types. They just made them like rockier in that form. So maybe they didn't have steel types then, and we're like, okay, we'll just work with that. They had an they might have had an idea from that. Who knows? Early Kingdra. Look at this sprite. That looks really cool. But again, I don't. I think more Dratini or Dragonite with that. So maybe they had that idea and decided to go with a uh, Horsey Cedra instead. Because it's like Dratini and like Dragonite kind of almost in the face. But I look at this and think maybe Kingdra or something like that. Maybe. Oh look at that early um Zeb Strike. I forget the. I forget the first form of it. But uh, yeah, Electric Zebra. So they, they'd actually hold on to this and bring it back later. A couple, uh, Gen 5, Gen 6, I believe, they brought him in. So yeah, kind of cool with like the the hair thing going on, standing out. That's cool. I'm thinking that might have been early Electric Boost. So I guess that's supposed to be Raikou. Instead, they went with what you call it, like Legendary Dogs. Maybe it's a... Seeing it more in the face, it's like a dog. It's It actually does look more like a dog than a, a zebra. But yeah, you can tell they took Zip Striker from this. That's what it looks like to me anyway. That is beta as hell. Far, far cry from the majesty that would be fucking Entei. Holy shit. Like, all three of those dogs I liked. They look more like lions to me than, like, design or something like that. I guess that's why they went with legendary beasts instead of... And little Suicune with, like, the hair or something like that. That looks awesome. That looks really cool. I like... That's the best one. I can see, like, with the hair, that becomes, a uh, Simipore. The, the hair reminds me of what, like the. Oh, that's not a that's not a horn. That's its ears. Because I'm looking at it, like the front sprite and back sprite with the ear, like pronounced this way. Okay. I like that. That's the best design of the three. And then we got whatever that's supposed to be Mew, but like a ground type or. I don't know what they were going with here. 
Maybe like early Sandshrew, and it doesn't own, have like the rocky formation to it yet. I don't know. Maybe they got one of the fighting types from this or something like that, like uh, Mian Shao or something. What later became very basic, but you can see like a lot of stuff like can be pulled from a uh, basic design. Like, what if we did this? What if we tweaked it this way and made it look like this? Oh, hey, we got something. Uh, ho, oh, but uh, um, wow, couldn't tell if, where the beak was at first. They gave it like uh, they gave it a lot more color with like the rainbow and everything else, the rainbow wing to like make it like it's gotta really stand out. Like it already does already, but it looked too much like uh. I guess they went with this, and I'm like a little too Flareon-ish. Like let's put uh, more colors on the wings of like a rainbow wing and make it really stand out. And it's a good thing they did that with that. But yeah, early ho oh toga p here, but much bigger. Then it's our original thing, because Togepi's like really small. This looks like almost the size of a, a big Pikachu or something like that. It's a little more pronounced. Schnabel, but not pink yet, so yay. Good stuff here, good stuff here. Uh, early Apom with the hands. So it wasn't quite uh, all monkey-ish yet. Almost looks like... um. God, there's so many cat Pokemon, I can't remember. I could, they could have lifted the face design from that, like the Niantic, like I said earlier, or something like that, in a way. Just the, 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 or maybe Skitty even with like how the, the eyes are. No, Skitty's eyes are closed. I'm trying to think. It looks familiar. The, the, again, they gleamed from this and came up with something else like maybe in the face and, uh, the face and, uh, fur department there. But the hand, I'm like early palm clearly. And then last but not least, this, uh, early attempt at Leafeon. So you can tell they were trying something here with that. I guess they... Went back to the drawing part on this one because this looks unhealthy. <laughs> I should not be. A lot of interesting designs from this. Most of which actually did make it, but you can see like uh, they didn't change too much. Just different colors or anything. Like they might have made the the Espeon less pronounced in the the face thing here. I like the Paris. <laughs> I went right to the dongle again of the Cleffa. Little ball of fluff uh, Pichu is kind of nice. I like the design of like the, the flying thing where it's like cute on the front, scary face on the back. Like That could have been something. The little electric ball of fluff there down there. Maybe that's what it was. It was like this first and then it becomes that. on The lion thing. Like it starts off mouse and then becomes more lionish. Like again with the paw and everything. And you could be like, like where a paw instead of like a instead of like a spike through it, it could have like a, it could be like Curved, kind of like a lightning bolt. I like the ghastly thing with like where it's like wisp at first and then becomes something later. But it already had like three forms already, so they I guess they kind of had to scratch that already. I never see a Pokemon with like uh four forms, at least not in the same chain. Like you don't start with this and then level to this and then level to this and level to this. But I think that maybe that's where they got that idea, too. Because it's like, uh, okay, we got Gloom. With this stone, it evolves Vileplume. With this stone, it evolves Blossom. And that's where they got the Blossom idea. It's like, okay, we kept that. But then next to it was the, on the next line was the, hey, what if Bill Sprout became this? No, no. Good stuff all around. I'd say my favorite sprites, just going through the list here. I mean, I like the bigger knockdown for the slickness, but I can see why they went with something different. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I just... And again, this sprite with the uh, the front and the back. This here. So I like this. I like this. Little Pikachu ball of fluff. I like the anchor shark. I like the idea of Paris becoming the shroom later in this first form here. That's pretty good. I like the ghastly wisps. Not sure how I feel about the cat dog, but just because you see the back sprite staring back at you for that reason alone, I'm gonna I'm gonna say yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> they they could, they could have something with this here. They might wanna they might wanna revisit this with the whole back sprite thing. But now it's the missed opportunity now because now it's like 3D pan and everything else. You can see everything just kind of standing out. <laughs> the little the little meow's kind of cute. I like this with the bell and everything. The chime and then it becomes the bell. That's good. I like that. The best is the. Uh, I wish they kept this honestly. Like this is like if I had to pick like the 
absolute best in my opinion. It's the the octillery, the uh, where it's the remoraid, where it starts like the gun barrel, and then it becomes the tank. That that's awesome. I would I would I would use this. I think this would get more love, honestly. And I can already see like sprite for this. Uh, like someone did like a fan art, and that's made me think of it in the first place. I retweeted like somebody else down there, and he was like rolling up the walls, all squishy with like the water and everything with the suction cups, and he'd be able to do it because he's got suction cups. Like that, that's perfect to me. That's like that's the best one in my opinion. I kind of like the idea for the hit on top, Mister Mime with the hat. Well, it looks more like the evil wizard king in baby form and kickle king. <laughs> I'm interested with this, the thing next to it with like the, the rod next to it, like either is it a microphone, is it a baton? I see why this got scrapped, but I again I like the idea of like the thing going through the puppet or the the sack boy or whatever. <laughs> the sack Pokemon then becomes a ghost. I like the pincer design, although it kinda reminds me of uh I remember what it I forget what he is, but he's supposed to be a Digimon. He's like green and has like a mask over it for his face or something like that. I forget what it's called. I like the water dog out of all three of those. And the cat with the hands looks kind of cute because it looks like a, a mime in its own way. Or it's like like clown hands or something like that. Like it would have like a joke box and glove. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's evolved for it becomes. <laughs> it's like a boxing glove, but it's like on a, like one of those loaded spring boxing boxing gloves. Like you see like in cartoon gangs where it's like, oh, da -da 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 -da, bam. Sometimes that just happens. Like I can see like people's imagination going with this and me trying to decipher everything. This was fun. But yeah, that'll, uh, I don't even know what the title is. I guess just a soapboxing, just going through random stuff like I've been doing for the couple ones. I'll, I'll probably, I'll try and get more serious and talk about more things later on with these soapboxings. Again, I'm still in the middle of moving and everything, so I can't do anything like super, super serious. But again, I just, I just spent like 50 minutes on this. <laughs> All right. With that said, take care. Thanks for watching.